friends, the biggest party of the summer is right around the corner. And no, I'm not talking about 4th of July. I'm not talking about money in the bank. I'm not talking about you hanging with your cousins in the backyard with the brats and the fireworks and the pool. I am talking, of course, about WWE's SummerSlam coming to you early August from Cleveland, Ohio and the Cleveland Brown Stadium. As a WWE fan, I think it's cooler doing a stadium show for SummerSlam again, but as a Baltimore Ravens fan, Cleveland sucks. But with that, it is never too early to look to one of the biggest shows of the year and talk about, you know, the implications of what goes on there and more importantly, what should main event that show well plenty of feuds out there there are plenty of stars who deserve that main event spot to you know be the last name called in that stadium all those fans whatever but my friends there is only one match that absolutely absolutely should main event SummerSlam. but before i get to it Let's go over some other already either confirmed or hinted to matches that probably will take place at SummerSlam, if not sooner, that outside shot has to, like, you know, chance to main event. Obviously, if we don't get it at Money in the Bank, we'll probably get Logan Paul in his hometown of Cle uh, Cleveland taking on LA Knight for the U.S. title. Now, again, teeny little shot. Uh is that Logan Paul is like the celebrity star tree as such and is a hometown hero. LA Knight is one of the biggest stars uh, in the company. So if they wanted to, I wouldn't be necessarily the smartest choice, but they could somehow justify having Logan Paul in the main event. Um, you have Gunther, with already confirmed because of winning the King of the Ring World Heavyweight title match against either Damian Priest or Seth Rollins as a recording of this. And yes, Seth Rollins is a huge star should he beat Damian Priest in Money in the Bank. Again, as a recording of this, this is a week before Money in the Bank. Uh, Gunther is a huge star and they do have Bash at Berlin afterwards. So you can kind of ride that momentum. But the feud itself doesn't have enough vitriol, have enough hate to it to justify the main event spot now the one non-championship feud that could theoretically take that main event spot is a drew mcintyre versus a cm punk obviously they've destroyed each other for the basically the entire year since punk came back in november definitely since the war rumble it picked up with punk costing Drew uh, the World Heavyweight title twice and Drew just basically whooping that ass anytime he gets a hands on Punk. So the feud is there. The blood is there for it to justify a main event spot. And first of all, if I had, if I had a title, guaranteed main eventer. That's just is. But had this next match that I'm going to say should be main eventing not been possible to happen because of the stuff around it. I would say that you know Drew CM Punk is a main event, but it cannot main event. My friends, I am talking about may not be popular, but it should main event. Again, may not be popular, but it should main event. I am talking about the American Nightmare, your WWE champion, Cody Rhodes, taking on the new chief of the Bloodline 2.0, new Bloodline, whatever. Solo Sokoa, yes. Solo Sokoa versus Cody Rhodes should main event SummerSlam. Here's why, okay? One, you have Cody Rhodes, who is uh, undoubtedly your top star, your biggest baby face, your front guy. He is your champion and deservedly so and should be, you know, the poster boy, the hand uh, shaker, the baby kisser. The basically, he's basically your politician at this point, going around going, hey, I'm Cody, hey, hey. And should be a uh, feature as, as such. That's why he deserves the main event spot. You have Solo Sokoa, who m people might not say is you no know, the true tribal chief. Might not say is 
the guy deserving of this, but he is undoubtedly the central figure right now. He is the central figure in the greatest storyline of the past decade plus at least. And will when it's all said and done, which might be a while because that whole family got family on family on family on family. When it's all said and done, might is might be and definitely is in line for one of the greatest storylines factions whatever you want to call it in pro wrestling history okay not just in wwe history and so we have a central figure in that you have to put that in the main event it has to go on and you know it's not going on money in the bank because cody uh randy kevin takes on bloodline 2.0 and money in the bank and regardless of what happens there, I do believe that Solo is going to take on Cody Rose at SummerSlam. With that blood there, you know, Cody's been take, uh, beefing with Solo and the other Usos for a minute. Not Jay anymore, but still, there is enough bad blood there. And it's only going to escalate between now and August. So there's enough bad blood there to justify the main event. There's enough bad blood there to, doesn't have to be a five-star classic. It can be a drag him out fight with where somebody does get bloody, probably Cody. But more so than ever, SummerSlam when it's all said and done, and whoever wins, if you start hearing you know, Solo's music, you start hearing Kingdom playing, my friends, that is the perfect opportunity for the true Tribal Chief to make his return. Yes, the main event of SummerSlam should close with Roman Reigns music playing, him coming back. It's a perfect spot, it's a huge show. He does need to rush, especially with him losing his father recently, you know, tease and peace to him. But he does need to rush back. There's no point in having him back anytime soon. Not until then. You build, you bring him back. You have like fancy booking. You have solo feign leadership back to Roman only to scoop it out when he realizes that, no, the new bloodline is all his guys which leads to a war games match between old bloodline new bloodline and you can go into wrestlemania doing that kind of stuff so but it has to start at a big show it could be bash of berlin which is the year early september or late august it can't be on the b run of b shows that they have between uh summerslam and war games it has to be summerslam come back establish who he is and all that so roman's gonna come back at summerslam and it needs to happen in the, after the main event, which is why Cody and Solo needs that main event spot. And that's all I got on that. But okay, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you disagree with me, agree with me. Should Roman come back at SummerSlam sooner or later? All that. Um, on all socials, I am at It's Heartfelt. But for right now, I am just Heartfelt. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.